So if your ice cream dinners ain't going to get you in. Pastor so-and-so saying, join up to church and pay your tithes. You're saved. Ain't going to get you in. But it's only going to come in unity. I got to love you. I've got to love you. We got to be for one another. We got to be for one another. We got to be for one another. You called. You know that? Raise your hand. You wrestle with it. Is this just me? Is this truly God? Reprove, rebuke with all long suffering. Do the work of an evangelist. Reprove, rebuke. Be instant in season and out of season. In the last days for such a time as this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tighten your seat belt. Make sure you stay in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So at 2 o'clock, we're going to meet. And we're going to talk about how's this thing going to run. We can say when it's all said and done, we're going to let the Holy Ghost run this. Amen. Who's going to take the pulpit? Whoever the Holy Ghost says. Who's going to get the money? Whoever the Holy Ghost says. Who's going to run it? The Holy Ghost. Jesus. Somebody said, I don't believe Jesus is the Holy Ghost. Jesus is the Holy Ghost. Well, I want to have a little tent revival over there. Well, we'll get one. I think we need to preach on the south side of town. We'll get one. We need to have one on the north side of town. We'll get one there too. I think we need to be on TV. Let me tell you how much it's going to cost. I've already checked it out. I uh, already met, uh, we've already contacted the man over Cox Cable. It's $100 a day. 30-minute program a day, Monday through Friday, $100 a day. Sunday, it's $140. We need six programs on a week, 30 minutes a day. That's a $10,000 camera editing and everything right there, an HDB camera already ready to go. We've already done it for eight years in Houston with a different camera. Hallelujah. We told Mr. Coleman what we got, and he said, which well, sounds like you're ready to go. I said, yes, sir, we are. All we need to do is just get our months together, and we'll call you and sign the contract. He said, your contract's a 13-week contract, a three-month. I want you to understand that. And he said, you got to pay your first two programs up front. And I said, that's fine. That's what we'll do. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're going to do it. We're taking Baton Rouge. It's going to send you. You think you've got a local work here. You have, you depend on your wife more than a lot of people know. You're like me. I depend on my wife a whole lot more than what people know. And they think, well, maybe she may not be all as holy as everybody because she don't give the old oh, holiness hack, you know. And Jesus was on ha, that Jericho road. Ha. Hey, you know, and get up here and kind of knock things around. She's kind of meek and quiet which in the sight of God of great price. Don't ever lose that. But the Lord never called one. Come up here. I, ain't gonna be, I don't know how long this is going to be preaching tonight. I don't know. Stretch forth your hands this way. He thinks it's a local work. Come here, young lady. And he always called both. And he will make a way for your ministry just as well as his. Hallelujah. And he will help you in yours. Hallelujah. Amen. I said God never called one without calling the other. Hallelujah. It's not a local work. For I've called you even as a prophet. Yeah, hast dreams and you have visions. And I, the Lord God, will bring the effect of every vision and thou shalt set these feet, excuse me, upon foreign fields and souls. And they will be literally thousands and multiply thousands and whenever they hear of the man from America and the woman from America before you can even get out there before lunch, there will be hundreds already and by that time that night there will be thousands that you will minister to in the Holy Ghost for this is the work the Lord has called you for. It is not a local work. Do not wrestle with God over the amount of people in the local area because the Lord has set your feet for such a time as this into the nations of the world. Hallelujah, let him go. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, there you go. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. hallelujah. And you think, well, I'm just not worthy. You don't know where I've been and you don't know what I've done. Hallelujah, the Lord God said, it ain't you. 
It's me. Where he goes, you'll go. You'll speak the word, and it'll come to pass. For thou shalt surely see my glory. Sayeth the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Lift your hands and praise the Lord of glory. Revelation 15, they sang the song of the Lamb and the song of Moses. What are we saying? There's a time that's the Shurhakahadash is a song of Moses. That's a, that's a song, it's feminine, and it means it's still in operation. It's still going. But there's a day we're going to all sing the song of the Lamb. It's a new song. Sing a new song. It's a kainos. It's something that the saints of God have never worn before, not even in the book of Acts. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, my button for my coat. Hallelujah unto God. Thank you, Moose. Hallelujah. Somebody said, what's his name? It's Brother Moose. Hallelujah. I don't know where he got that name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Help him up. What are we saying? What if he had a church? No one ruled over it. Brother Hoyt, do you have to give up your church over there? Absolutely not. You got your church? Fine. Keep it. But let's see what God does when we come together as one. When we come together as one. And we have love one to another. Now watch God move. God moves only in unity. But what we've done, we've fought each other. We've fought each other. Somebody said, well, I can't let you get on TV because you're going to get my piece of pie. And you're going to get those souls. What we don't realize, God's got that piece of pie 15,000 level layers deep, and he's got multiplied more. If you get one, he's his good treasure to give you one, and he's a God of multiplication. He'll keep on giving. Hallelujah. 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 Can you say amen? amen. Glory to God. What if you had elders in that church full of the Holy Ghost praying and said, Lord, you're the head of this. No man's ahead of this. Somebody said, well, i got to be subject to my pastor. Well, that's the biggest bunch of bull that ever came down the pike there ever was. It said, obey them, plural, that have the rule over you. That ain't no pastor. Never has been. So what God's going to do, and you mark it down. You don't think this is God, you mark it down. I say, thus saith the Lord, I call heaven and earth the record. That one over there got mad at the other night. He's so sick now, he's about nearing to death. Did I do it? I didn't do it. You're the one that said it. I didn't do it. Sister Melanie said it. said, you know, I didn't do it. My God, I don't want nothing to happen to nobody. I won't act that. We're not out here for nothing. We're out here for the good. Hallelujah. But whenever you stick your hands to it, hallelujah unto God. Somebody said, well, that's awful big words. Yeah, I tell you what, you let this, when we get the grants in here, I'll tell you what, all it takes is a little finances. But all it takes is the Spirit of God. He'll give you the finances. When she got in that book over there, the Holy Ghost started moving on her. She came out of her crying to me and said, Dad, it's going to work. I said, it's going to work? She said, I can tell you right now it's going to work. I just felt the Holy Ghost this morning. I said, how long do you feel it, darling? She said, enough that I know it's going to work. Hallelujah. That's good enough for me. Hallelujah. So we got to feed a few poor folks. So we got to open up kitchens around here. So we got to get a bill around here. So what? I got this land right here. We got it for $300,000, but I don't think it's going to be big enough. We're looking at this great hall down here, and we're going to see how much that thing costs down here for the back and the front of it, and it seats 800 people right there. And I've got another thing on demolition, Elder. If we get that, that's almost 2,000 theater chairs, almost brand new, will be given to us. Hallelujah unto God. And the reason you didn't get that, you didn't get it, did you? Hallelujah unto God, because it's going to stop and thwart your work from doing this right here. You mark it down, you wait and see it. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. And it's going to turn for you greater than what you would have had before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm not a prophet. Hallelujah. I have a gift of prophecy, but I'm not a prophet. I know what my call is. Hallelujah. I know what my call is. And whenever you get that kind of people and you let the Lord be the head of it and you let the Lord run that thing and hallelujah, when one man gets a spirit of adultery on him or he gets a spirit of a thief on him, going to get on there and going to take the money out of the treasury and run down the road with it or, or well, there'll be three or four, five, six, ten elders over there, two, two prophets, uh, the evangelists will be walking up, four pastors and apostles saying, I'm, the, I'm, not, a, I'm not with you in body but I'm, at, I'm, I'm with you in spirit and you take such as one as turn him over to the destruction of Satan 
that he might be saved on the day of the Lord. I've judged already. Boom, before he even gets to first base, he hallelujah unto God. It'll already be there.